CES coverage sponsored by Luxor Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. See tpn.tv for the Luxor advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. All right, continuing coverage of CES 2011. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine and the Tech Podcast Network. We're here with Billy from DLNA. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, and we're also outside in a trailer, which is great, and it's, it's great to get outside in this nice warm air for me in Wisconsin. But we're talking about DLNA, which is the next generation of connectivity. Right. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what DLNA is exactly? Right. So uh, DLNA is a consortium of com companies, and it's about devices connecting and sharing content. Right. So it's about having devices from multiple classes, from multiple manufacturers, working well together. Right, and then what we'll do here in a second is we'll go through some demos and some use cases. Okay, so but what we got right here, let's let's just take a look at, at basically what you'll start seeing in your devices when you go to buy them. Um, why don't you want to explain a little bit about that? Right, so this this is a digital media server. So uh, actually, I am product manager at Promise Technology. So this is a media server NAS. You store your digital media content on this device, okay. music, pictures, video, and then you stream content from it using digital media players. So here, this is an Ethernet connected device. You have power and Ethernet and everything resides on the network and it's active and available at all times. Okay, and so you'll have a media server or a, uh, a software inside of it? Right, right. So here is a media server. It runs, it serves content, and then you can use things like a PS3, an Xbox 360, uh, software applications such as our app, um, a DLNA television, a receiver from Onkyo. So all of these are media players and they can discover and stream content. As we scan across the room, you'll see like the the, the newest of the Samsung TVs. Um, we got yeah we uh, we have a Droid X uh, and Droid Two uh, in there um, over there, and we have uh, we have an Alienware laptop. Right, and then we have a digital media server, uh, Smartstore Zero, which is a zero configuration NAS. So it's a NAS just designed for people that are not technical who want to have a media server in the home. Okay. And then the Samsung DLNA TV, Samsung Blu-ray player as as well. So these are all devices that can discover, talk, and interrupt. And and they work amongst e each other to share content. So, and, and now you said something about an, uh, an I iPad app. Right, right. So we have an application, a uh, promise that we released recently on the App Store. This is Smart Store Fusion Stream. So this is a, a oh sure, so this is Smart Store Fusion Stream. Uh, it's a digital media application that we designed. So you can do things like playback content off a server. I can upload content off my iPad or my, my iPhone directly to the NAS. I can download content from media servers and I can also control devices so I can browse the content and then select my playback device and have control over it. Cool. So basically, where do people, uh, they'd have to go to one of the, the you said 27 uh, different manufacturers, right? Uh, more, there, there's Let's over two, sure, there. there's over 200 man member companies. Oh, okay. Right, so Sony, Toshiba, Intel, Microsoft, Promise, uh, Technicolor, Samsung. Okay. So you have a consortium of the top CE companies in the world. Where do people uh, go to get more information? Uh, so you can go to www.dlna.org. DLNA.org. Billy, thank you very much for your time. For the Tech Podcast Network, CES 2011 coverage, my name is Jeffrey Powers.